Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Kind of sounds like the ocean, even though we're in a sacred grove. I, I guess the idea is that that's the wind moving through the trees, even though the trees aren't moving at all. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't matter. We're in human form. We've got the Master Sword. And super importantly, we have the ability to switch between um, our different forms, between a human form and a wolf form at will. Also, I think this claw shot yeah, can grab these bugs. Making it a lot easier to pick these guys up. Yep, there we go. And I can't remember if there's something I can grab onto with this. There's something I can do in the future with this. I, I just don't know if I can do it yet. <laughs> Okay, so so probably not yet, but we'll, we'll I imagine we'll probably get to it eventually. There's a there's a lot of little secrets in this game, like you know, in this place that we can't access yet, but we will access eventually. And we're gonna have to figure our way out of here, along with, of course, being able to do all sorts of cool things that we couldn't do as a human or as a wolf. Now obviously, oh, okay, okay, so here's here's our first thing that we're going to do. Transform into a wolf. Ow. This now allows us to fight this guy. And finish. You know, so now we have the ability to get all these Poe souls, switch back into human, and continue on our journey. And the cool thing is, is it doesn't take that long to do, you know, so we shouldn't have an issue. Ah, yes, that's a perfect spot right there. No, no, go up, up, there you go. I can sort of see where the texture separates right about here. Uh, but I'm not sure how we open that right off. I didn't even know there was a thing here I can get later, like, in this little alcove, but I, I can't, you know, reach it yet. Um, and I need to talk to Midna. Who knew a place like this existed within Faron Woods? I, th I can't tell if we're supposed to teleport out of here. That's the only way. It's like a magical seal, it's not an actual rock. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Hmm. And we can't just howl the door open. Okay, well, I suppose the way to get out of here would have to be to teleport. Whoops, not that. Transforming into a wolf. And teleporting. Alright, so let's see. Um, I think there's a place in Ordania province that I've been needing to go to anyway. So let's go to the Ordon Spring. We just I want to get some some uh, things done now that we have the ability to freely teleport through most of the known world. I want to try to get some stuff done. Okay, yeah, like that wolf right there. I need to transform into human and go talk to him. Hello there. Can I can I learn a fancy special skill? I would appreciate it if you taught it to me. Look, I even have a cool sword now to learn it. We meet again. It appears your efforts have begun to return some vigor to Hyrule, but it is far too early to relax. Do you feel ready to earn yourself a Yeah, very well. Before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the shield attack. Now then, come at me, bro. I think I'm kind of doing these, uh, these things really slow, like, like normally I could have gotten a couple more by now. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My third hidden skill is... The back slice. Let it be hewn into your mind. Now this one's pretty cool. I like to use this one. A mere shield attack is no match for an enemy protected not by a shield, but by thick full body coat of armor. Such enemies are often focused on guarding against frequent frontal attacks. They often leave their rear unprotected. That is when you Z-target and press A while tilting. 
to jump and roll around your foe with and perform a jumping slice. And it's really cool. This is the back slice. Now try it. Ding! Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I did it right. Okay. There we go. Gotta shake the Wii Remote at the right time. Hmm. You carry yourself well, but do not forget the proper timing for swinging your sword while you jump. The third hidden skill, the back slice has been passed on. I think the very act of rolling while holding a sword is just a good way to get yourself cut. You learn the, the, the back slice. Yay, good job. I really like the back slice, and we will use that, because even on unguarded enemies, it's just a fun little thing to do. Alright, cool. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I need to do while I'm here? I can't think of anything right off. So let's try, let's see. Now that's where I was. We need to go to Hyrule Town. That's our eventual goal, but I'm trying to see if there's anything that having the ability to teleport to could assist. Not really. Okay, let's go to Castle Town. Nothing I can remember right off anyway, that's what I'm saying. And one day when we have, you know, a little more time, maybe some, uh... If I have some ideas, we might do some of the more fun activities that are located in Hyrule. Because there are a lot of fun activities we can do to, you know, just blow time. Of course, not really not really good for a Let's Play if you're trying to get through with story, but it is a buttload of fun. Mr. 250, wait! It's this guy again. No one's unnerved by the giant force field around the castle? Greetings, Mr. 250. Or, Mr. Mr. 250. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Telma. Da, 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 da. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Da, 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 da. All right, let's check that right quick. Let's see letters. They came so quickly. Mr. 250, there are some folks I want you to meet, so come to my bar right away. These guys will be powerful allies for you. You heard me. Come by and I'll be waiting at my castle town bar. Telma. That's a good idea. That's kind of where I was planning on heading anyway, but not a bad idea. Oh, and we should donate to this guy as well again because our wallet's full and it's been full for so long. So all we're doing currently is missing money. Although it is daytime. Let's check out the store first. If I have extra money afterwards, we'll donate. And all that good jazz. Yeah. Oh, goodness, there's a lot of people in here today. Hey, kid, you look cool. Hey, don't you look good? Are you looking for something? I got it. You're here to see the new attraction that just went up on the eastern, eastern thoroughfare, aren't you? The eastern thoroughfare? What attraction? Is he talking about the thing on Lake Hylia? That's kind of east. Let's see. Oh, this place. Okay. Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry, but... Well, having a customer in the store with shoes as filthy as yours can make our other clients uncomfortable. We hope that you will come back once you found some more polished footwear. Um, can you tell me where I would polish my shoes at? You? Hey, hey you! Your shoes are grimy! No matter how good your clothes look, you don't look pulled together if your shoes are dirty. If someone's checking you out, I bet they'll look at your shoes too. I bet they didn't let you in at that snooty shop, did they? What do you think? I'll polish him up real nice for 10 rupees. Well, since I'm rolling in the dough, that's what I'm talking about. I'll polish him so well they'll shine. Oh, look at him. They're literally shining. So, what do you think? Shiny, eh? If they get dirty again, I'll polish him up for you. Well, considering we've been trudging through all these different temples, I imagine they would get pretty dirty. Oh, hoo Hello! Now this is what I call a shop. Let's look around this place. Oh man, this is a nice place. They weren't kidding about the shiny shoe thing. 
Hmm. Can I help you? Would you like me to show you something? Alright, let's see. Arrows. What do you think? Uh, what's the price? You're not telling me the prices on these, are you? Ooh, magic armor. Armor for the richest and most precious customers who value their lives over their rupees. Ooh, pocket bombling. Popular with the ladies in town. Well, that's interesting. How much does the magic armor cost? I'll take it. A hundred thousand rupees? Whoa. Oh, that's a bit much. Wow. Okay. Um... I think I'll maybe make a trip here if they ever have a sale or something. That's a bit much. Can we get some Steam Summer Sales going on in here? That's... That's a bit taxing on my wallet. A hundred thousand rupees. Wow. Okay. What do you ladies have to say? That shop is so pretentious, the merchandise is really pricey, and the clients are really snooty. We were just saying how nice it would be if shops like that got shut down. Oh, by the way, I heard there's some shop in Kakariko that has really great deals. Oh, really? Wouldn't it be great if a shop like that opened up around here? Oh, I know, right? Hmm. Might be a little bit of something interesting in that. Uh, but yeah, so we've got a buttload of money that, even though I wouldn't mind spending it, we obviously don't have a hundred thousand rupees, or even the ability to carry a hundred thousand rupees. Because we couldn't just shove them in our pockets, so let's make some healthy donations over here. Of 50 rupees. Yep, we're donating the crap out of you. Let's see, what do you think, 200 rupees? We could keep 200 and that will leave us plenty of room to pick up more. And I feel like at some point, he's going to do something really nice for us. Oh. 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 Alright, one more. Here. Man, this guy is like so rich right now, it's not even funny. I'm not quite sure what he plans on doing with it, but he is rich. And, okay, so this is kind of something I wanted to do. I know we're kind of screwing through the episode just, like, doing random crap. But, you know what? That's okay, because we've been we've been doing a lot of story lately. Let's do a little bit of fun. Play the star game. That's all the rage in Hyrule. Don't you want to be a star, too? Well, certainly. I love being a star. And we can actually play this game now. Seems like a creepy place. Can we turn on the lights? Do you need to be stabbed? Because I've got a sword and it's good for stabbing things. Hey. Greetings and salutations, good sir! Welcome to the kingdom of hopes and fondest dreams! Uh, in this place you can taste your, the life of a circus star and get your hands on gear that boggles minds. It is our earnest hope that you find delight playing the star game. The rules are exceedingly simple. So, all you must endeavor to do is track down all the glowing orbs and collect them before time runs out. Star. <laughs> Rather outstanding name, I must say. Step right up, shyness be gone, it's only ten rupees. Who's up to the challenge? I'll do it, sure. Many thanks, good sir. The game will begin once you enter the cage. May chance favor you. <laughs> good sir, are you at the ready? Then away we go! So we need to get all these orbs as quickly as possible. But at this point we would be stuck if we had not this ability. And of course the people love us. We're absolute superstars right now. I think there's a better way to do this, by the way, than what I'm doing. But... There we go, I got them all. Doesn't matter, I still got them. Uh, in impossible. Uh, oh, wh what a happy day this is. The debut of a new star. Showers of applause all around. To the star, I shall give this. You got the big quiver. It can hold up to 60 arrows, which is a very good thing. Hmm, very well. The next stage will be one created just for you, good sir. I would expire you to climb. Please, you must try it when it is ready. <sighs> I shall remember this. So obviously we kind of breezed through that pretty darn well. 
and he's gonna make the next stage a little harder for us which I'm just gonna tell you right away we can't do because he's gonna remove all the platforms and we can't do that till we get some more items because you know we needed that claw shot to get the items well we're gonna need a little bit of more to be able to go further e it's him oh good I have fangirls it's him oh gosh oh oh thank you no, don't run away. I thought you were my friends. So apparently I have groupies now. Or something of a similar sort. Alright, and we need to head over to the bar now. Because she said there's, you know, Telma, the person running the bar, said that there was uh, some people here to meet me, I think. Maybe they'll tell me where to go next to get this mirror thing that they were talking about, or Midna was talking about. Let's see, who are you? Oh, you're the mailman. What to order? What to order? I do believe I will start with meat. I guess the mailman needs food too, especially with all that running around he's doing. Oh. Hello there. Oh my! If it isn't Mister Two Fifty, we haven't seen you in a while. We did find a rather nasty wolf the other day, though. You made it! How have you been, honey? Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey! Hey, everyone, introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Mr. 250. Well, I don't like to brag, but, you know, I am pretty great. You do remember what I told you before, honey. These are the friends I mentioned, the one who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but... There's been a disturbing turn of events in the eastern desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older man named Aru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to talk with him. Okay, honey? Well, I've come all the way here, honey, so why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folk? They're a jolly bunch. <laughs> They're jolly good. <laughs> oh. oh, hello there. You must be Mr. 250, correct? I'm Shad. Or Shade? Shad. I'm such a Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Telma told me all you've been up to. You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. I'm formidable at book reading, but... Well, shall we say, I lack physical skills. And I totally read that wrong. That said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. Like what? At the moment, I'm absolutely entranced at by the sky beings known as the Oka. Yes, according to legend, Hyrule was made by the Hi Hylians, who, as we all know, are the closest race to the gods. But also according to legend, long ago there was a race even closer to the gods, and some say these creatures made the Hylians. When they created the people of Hylia, or Hylia, they simultaneously created a new capital city, or a city that floated in the heavens. They dwelt there, and some scholars believe that this race lives there still, somewhere in the great sky. Sky beings, isn't that simply marvelous, old boy? What I wouldn't meet, give to meet them. Are you British? It's Ashi. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight in his own right. He taught me the arts of war as though I was his son. Of course, lessons and common courtesy were not part of the regiment. Regimen, so forgive me if I come off as rude, yeah? Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Both? Does she know Midna's with me? Snow Peak, the mountain to the north of Hyrule, it's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there that happen on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, yeah? Uh, okay, thanks. And you, the one with the covered eyes. Nothing, excellent. Telma, do you have anything to say about that? How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Renando is a talented man for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs to be doing right now, okay? Listen, honey, if you're puzzled about what you ought to be doing, why not go see our old friend Aru? There's a man who knows things. He's out checking the eastern desert of Hyrule. If you need detailed directions, just take a peek at that map on the table. Well, why don't we look? Hi. 
that old Codger Haru is at Lake Hylea studying the desert. So we need to go down here and take a look. I believe it's actually a tower on the very edge of the lake that you might have seen before if you were paying attention. And let's go. Oh, I can't roll. I was like, why can't I roll? Does not make sense. All right. So we did pretty good today. We've got some extra bows. We've got news of where to go next. And we had a little fun. That's pretty good, and I'm glad we still have some time. And there's lots of little side missions in the game you can do. But I don't know how many of them we'll get to. We'll probably just get to the ones I happen to notice is what'll happen. Oh, by the way, this is a separate exit that I think they've been blocking off until now. That I couldn't go to. Oh, and I hear... Oh, I hear one somewhere. Where is it? Right here? Ah, excellent. I got a ladybug. I, I didn't even know there was a ladybug there, honestly. Ooh. How, how might I go about getting that? Is that like a fancy treasure chest that I'm not supposed to open? Ah, oh, there's got to be a way to get it. I just don't know what it is. Unless maybe there's like a secret passage to it somehow? I don't have anything currently to be able to do anything with it, I don't think. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just leave it alone for now. Probably another item I can't deal with. Oh, hey there. How you doing? And there's another person over here. Oh, and by the way, there was a point where I was saying there's a point near Hyrule Castle that allows you to, uh... That allows you to jump straight into Lake Hylea. This is what I was talking about, and I wasn't realizing it was blocked off at the time. Oh. It looks like there's goodies down there, actually, as well. Ah, I missed the jump. Whoops. Okay, we're going to Lake Hylea, I suppose. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but it did speed us up to get to Lake Hylea. Oh, hey there, Mr. Bird. Care to have a word with me? About whatever, anything? Plum has no need to speak to humans. Well, would you mind talking to me if I was a wolf? Though completely ignoring the fact that I'm a wolf. I mean, that I was a human. Hello, 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 I'm Plum. I'm really excited about the latest attraction down here at the lake. Want to hear about it? Sure. This attraction is all about popping balloons as you move towards the goal. It's stupendous. The balloons are worth different amounts of points. Watermelon one, orange three, strawberry ten. Oh, and if you break the same type of balloon twice in a row, you get double the points, but only up to ten times. If you hit a wall and fall off, then you get no points. That's right, zero points to you. Press B to start over from the beginning. You know what? You know you get something neat if you get over 10,000 points, right? Not that you ever will. Well, the game starts as soon as you fly into the air. Yeah! So... I suppose we might as well give this one a shot, too. I mean, since we've already s screwed around for this entire episode, more or less, why don't we just finish off the episode with more? I'm not sure how we're supposed to fly into the air. We're just an owl. Unless we have some sort of larger flying abilities. Oh, uh, you're a much larger creature. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I thought this kind of thing only happened in the Shadow Realm. I didn't know you could actually call ginormous birds that way. Alright, well, I guess we're starting the game. Let's go. So our goal is to get as many of these as we can, and if we get the same color in a row, we get lots of points, so let's try to see if we can uh, go for a lot of strawberries. I don't know how many there will be. And watermelons are worth very low points, so getting combos of watermelons are not exactly big point grabbers. Strawberries are good point grabbers. 
Oh, yeah, but there's a strawberry combo right there. Big money, big money. Oh, but you, they make you go really close to the wall, I guess, to balance out the fact that you're getting huge amounts of money. Oh, oh. Ah, ah, I missed that one. That's okay, we'll just skip these ones and go to the next strawberry. Nice music, at least. Oh, oh, that's a sketchy one. We can do it, though. Oh, 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 okay. We didn't hit the wall too hard, I guess. Uh, I'm kind of curious if I should try going for oranges now or keep hitting the strawberry chains. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. I already hit it. Oh, well, let's just keep going with it. Oh, a nice strawberry chain up here, though. Strawberry. You know, in real life, I really do enjoy strawberries a lot. They're one of my favorite fruits. And grab the last one. Okay, so I didn't quite hit the 10,000 points. That probably requires keeping up that strawberry chain I had going. Wasn't bad, though. Didn't do too bad, I think. Hey Plum, how'd I do? Do I get anything for that at the very least? Hmm. 6,420 er, 6, points. Really? You haven't shown me anything too amazing yet. Nope. So, want to go again? Uh, I'm going to say no. Ah, I forgot. Good job, you forgot. Now. Uh, I believe... Oh, Transformer, no one can see you. Oh, because she can see me from there. I don't know if the ride that allows you to go down... That it allows you to go down the river is open yet, so let me go talk to the lady about that. Oh, and there's a bug over here, too. I should try to grab. Yeah. You're still closed? Why are you still closed? Yeah. What the heck? You've been closed for a while. Seems like a slightly harder one to grab with a claw shot. Maybe I have to, like, lead on it a bit. You can tell it's obviously made to get with the, uh, the boomerang. But I'm lazy and I want to grab it with a claw shot, because I've already got it out. Okay. Let's just get the boomerang out. Oh, dang it. Ah, dang it. That's a annoying. Let's pull back farther and see if I could pull it closer over here. Okay, come here, you bug. You're mine now. Haha, <laughs> got a dragonfly. Oh, I've already caught one like this? Can you do that? I didn't know they respawned. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. And we're just about to leave pretty soon, but I did notice that there's a Poe soul over here, so that won't take us but even just a little bit longer. So let's grab that. Swimming against the current. Always fun. Urgh. Of course, she's too far away. She can't possibly see us from this range. You got a pose, soul. Oh, and random diggy spots. Anyway, so that's about all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ooh, ooh, blue rupee. Congratulations. Just a way to fill up my wallet just a tiny bit faster. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time for more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm sure it'll be all, all sorts of fun everywhere. So thanks for watching. And see you next time. Ooh, more diggy spots. Yay. Bye.